Hello my loves, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So in today's video, I want to share my updated flawless complexion routine for my girls and my boys who have dark spots. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the products that I've been using, the steps, the techniques, and sharing some tips on how you can achieve a flawless makeup application if you have dark spots, hyperpigmentation, etc. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I slay my face, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Before we get into the video, I did wanna say that I will go ahead and link all of the products that I'm about to use and show you guys down below in the description box, so make sure you guys check that out. But let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize these lips because they real motherfucking dry. This is my EOS The Fixer. And I'm gonna let that marinate on my lips as we do everything else. So that by the time we ready for the lips, they nice and juicy, okay? So when it comes to my complexion, when I'm doing my makeup, to me it's very important because I feel like a flawless base can distract people from everything else. Like when it comes to my face, I feel like my strongest suits is my complexion. Like when people see my before and after pictures, they're just like, wow, okay, I see what you did there. Like it gives natural. It doesn't look like I'm giving cake face. And at the same time, I'm able to cover my dark spots and my hyperpigmentation. So I love that for me. No, my skin is not perfect. Yes, it is okay. When it comes to makeup, I use it to enhance my beauty, okay? I don't use it to create a whole new face. I use it to enhance my beauty. So when it comes to my makeup, I like to do things in a natural manner where it looks like, okay, her face is beat, but she not doing like too much. You know what I'm saying? So the first thing that I do is I prime my face. So the primer I've been loving is this one size Secure the Blur Primer. This stuff is so friggin' bomb. And also since I have acne prone skin, it's important that I use products on my face that are non-comedogenic, meaning that they do not contain oils that will clog the pores. So all of the products I'm gonna be showing you guys in today's video are also like acne skin friendly. So if you do have acne prone skin, these products are for uses, okay? But I take that much. And I already did my morning skincare routine, by the way. If you guys want to see that video, I'll link it up above. But I just go ahead and apply my primer. Oh, it gives the skin like a nice blur, as the name says. Absolutely love it. So as you guys can see, I have dark spots and hyperpigmentation. So I like to cover them before I go on my foundation because I feel like it helps with the seamless look of the foundation once we put it on. So I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer in the shade 50N. This is essentially my skin tone and I just think that when it comes to color correcting, hiding dark spots, you wanna make sure you keep it as natural as possible. So to me, the best way I found to do that is to use a concealer that's similar to your skin tone to cover your dark spots, to essentially color correct. And this concealer is only $15 by the way, so you trying to do your makeup on a budget like me <laughs> then definitely check this concealer out i absolutely love it i'm just going over my noticeably dark spots i feel like if i don't do this my dark spots tend to like peek through when i apply my foundation so that's why I like to do this. So I like to let it dry down a bit because when you let the concealer dry down, it provides you with more coverage. So in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'll let y'all watch me. But for brows, I have been cleaning up my brows myself. I don't get them professionally done. When it comes to brows, I'm the professional. Cause I know how I like my brows done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill them in and I'm using my ABH Brow Wiz. So 
So we have a rough draft of our brows. Now it's time to blend this concealer and this concealer does dry pretty quickly. So you gotta move fast when it comes to her, okay? She likes immediate attention. So I'm gonna take this Sephora Pro Concealer 57 brush. Babes, I love this concealer. I used to blend in my concealer with a sponge, but I'm telling y'all, get a good brush, specifically this one, <laughs> when it's on sale. And I promise you that you will get more coverage from whatever is your blending, whether it's concealer, whether it's foundation, whatever it is. This brushes in general just give you more coverage. So it just depends on what look you're going for. But this brush right here is so good that I got two of them. When I'm blending, I like to just pat the product in. I don't want to move it because it's essentially placed where we wanted it. So I'm just pressing in. You guys see how beautifully that covered our dark spots? Like, are you freaking shitting me? Shitting? <laughs> and then I'm gonna blend out the concealer I used around my brows. And if there are any like dark spots that I didn't specifically apply concealer on top of i just take whatever is left on the brush and go over it so that it can get a little bit of love but can y'all see this like look at this material look at this material blends like a freaking dream okay And before I forget, I know somebody's gonna ask about this mirror. This mirror is an impressions travel mirror. So it has like the light around. This is my absolute favorite like handheld mirror and it has a kickstand so you can put it up. So if you're looking for a mirror to travel with, get this. I'll have a link down below. It's available on Amazon and everyone needs it. Like literally the best mirror ever. Okay, so after I'm done blending that out, a lot of people are gonna comment or probably thinking like girl that's enough but i'm gonna take it one step further one thing about me is i'm gonna take things one step further so i'm gonna go on my foundation this is the sephora collection best skin ever foundation this is essentially the foundation to complement the concealer we just used so to me i just like putting this on top in the winter time it just gives a nice well look in the summertime Baby, I'm working out just like this, okay? Put a little concealed powder, y'all know. But in the winter time, I like to put a layer of foundation on top of my concealer. So I'm gonna take a pump and a half of the foundation. And I love using this Morphe E63 brush to blend out my foundation, baby. The girls never lied about this brush, okay? So I take about half of it and then I just pat it in on my face. To distribute the product After I'm done distributing the product, I take the brush and I just press the product in. You don't want to swipe, you want to pat. Like, do, maybe y'all not seeing what I'm seeing. Cause if you ask me, my skin looks mother friggin flawless, okay? Dark spots, weird. Hyperpigmentation, who? Babes. If you don't come on over here and get you one of these, around the hairline, you want to make sure you blend that real good, okay? Blend around that hairline real mother freaking good. Get them ears with the extra and your jawline. 
And then I like to take two lighter shades in a Sephora concealer to highlight under my eyes and like the midsection of my face. 35N is a little lighter than my skin tone. So I make like two Vs like that and then I make a V like that. And then I place it here. I could literally do this with my eyes closed. So this gives more of like a transition between like my skin tone and the lighter shade that we're gonna use. So the lighter shade is 34.5N, but real quick, I wanna say that I feel like there's a huge jump between these two. So Sephora, I would like to see like a color in between these two, but this is what we have. So I'm gonna do what I can with what I got. <laughs> and then I put like a little dab in the middle of each area. So, if I would have took the 34.5N and just put that here, recipe for disaster. So the 35N gives like a nice transition. So if you're someone who doesn't like the bright under eye but likes a little splash of like brightness, do like this, okay? Get you one color that'll be like a transition color and then one color that'll be like the pop and then y'all gonna see how everything comes together. So as I mentioned, this concealer dries pretty quickly. So I'm gonna take the same concealer brush and I'm just going to pat that product in and take my time. When you're applying the concealer under your eye, I wanted to say that the application is very important. I never go ahead and apply the concealer straight under my eye, like under my eyelid, because I definitely feel like that gives cake face and the product just sits there. I like to blend the product upward so I have more control of how much goes into that area because we got lines. Who don't got lines, okay? Who don't got lines? We want our makeup to look nice and natural and last all day. So that is a tip. And then I take whatever's left on my brush and just put it on my eyelid so that that can also have the same nice transition as well. Get the sides of my nose so we can have a little snatch nose. And you guys see that there's a huge line of demarcation. We're gonna take care of that in a second. Let me just continue blending. If you've never tried this concealer before, this right here, this video, is your time to go get it because what? Like, do y'all see that? Don't look at me right now because things aren't blended, but give me a second. So after I'm done blending with the brush, I like to go in with a damp sponge. This sponge is from Amazon, $1.40 per unit, okay, baby? The cheap way, <laughs> the affordable way, the frugal way. <laughs> so I like to take this damp sponge and just go on top of the areas we blended and just give it some second live give it a little bit more love and i specifically like to what is going on here oh i think it's too wet oh, oh baby why would you ever erase my greatness yeah make sure your sponge is damp and not wet I tried to use half a paper towel, no babes. You needed the whole thing. Stop being cheap. <laughs> the frugal way. Quick little fix. I'm gonna take my brush and just go over that spot. And when I'm blending with the sponge, I specifically like to concentrate on the area of the line of demarcation to give it a nice blend between the foundation and then the concealed area. Everything else, like the middle section, is pretty blended because the brush already did that for us. So we wanna make sure that we're focusing on the transitional blend when we get to using the sponge. And I'm just pouncing in. I'm not dragging, you never drag, okay? Y'all see how good that look? Like, okay. So now we're gonna set our concealer. Make sure you set your concealer. You do not wanna be out here looking like an oily egg, okay? I remember back in the day, I never used to set my concealer and I look back and I'm like, girl, where were you going looking greasy as a KFC bucket of fried chicken, okay? So I go ahead and I like to mix two setting powders. So the first one is this one size. I think this is called Secure the Blur. No, that's the primer. This is called the Ultimate Blurring Powder, I believe, from One Size Beauty. 
chef's kiss a translucent one get the translucent one and let me tell y'all what to do okay this is a recipe for greatness y'all heard it here first from your girl kinesthetic with the kinesthetics get you one of these because your face gonna be looking good this is a derma blend illuminating banana powder i used to use a translucent one and i was like it's good but i feel like it doesn't keep my melanin intact as much as i would like it to let's say it that way but tabs put me onto this one the banana one so freaking good i remember the girls always used to rave about Dermal blend setting powder and I'm like what's so good about it because it look white to me the white one is cool the translucent is cool but the banana if you're a brown skin girl that's what you gotta get get you one of those so I take my sponge and I pick up the one size powder first and then I dip my sponge into the derma blend just a little bit okay and I don't really like to bake I just like to set my concealer so I'm gonna do one dab here, one dab here, one here. Just to distribute it equally so I'm not like putting too much on one side. And then I take my sponge and just press that powder in the area. Make sure you get under your eye cause you do not want that creasing on you. I mean naturally, depending on how long you are you have your makeup on it's gonna crease but we want to make it last as long as possible so i get in there okay in there can't believe it's not butter because this shit is so freaking smooth <laughs> onto the other eye Like what? <laughs> I snap each and every time. I gotta get myself my flowers, okay? So that's all I like to do when it comes to setting powder. I don't, like depending on, if it's in the summertime, I'm gonna go on a little bit heavier, but since it's winter and my face doesn't sweat as much, that's it, okay? That's it and that's all. To add a little bit of color back to my face, I like to go in with my Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Powder. Once again, another product that a thousand percent lives up to the hype. So I use this powder brush from Real Techniques. Pick up the product on the sponge. And what I like to do is I like to start on the circumference of my face first and then work my way in. Just because we want the middle of our face to be like a little brighter. So we don't want to go in with a heavy hand as we do with the circumference or the outer sides of our face. So I take my sponge. And I just press that in here. I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference on camera, but this side of my face is like a little bit more brown than this side. And then I like to take more and do this side of my face. This helps to control the shine, add a little bit of color back to the face and just make sure everything is just good in the hood, okay? Make sure everything is good in the hood. And then I'm not gonna add any extra product onto the brush, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just sweep the middle of my face. Just like that, just like that. So now, that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. So this is pretty much complexion. So this is the final look. I am in love. Like when I tell y'all that I've been snapping on my makeup, I've been snapping on my makeup, period. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the products, tips, and techniques that I use to slay my face, even with dark spots, okay? Dark spots where? Dark spots where? I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> 
So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I mentioned, all of the products used in today's video will be down in the description box. So make sure you guys check those links out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at kinesthetic underscore. Turn your bell notifications on so you never miss another upload. Like this video and comment down below. Let me know how y'all think I did. If you guys currently use any of these products or if you guys plan on picking any of these products up, please comment down below and let me know. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Every time I said that I'm